Okie dokie. Yesterday, we made it to the final boss. I think it's the final boss. We, we, we got to Rogue Process. I'm assuming it's the final boss. I'm not entirely sure it's the final boss. I think it's safe to guess that it is. I also had some thoughts throughout the day. And I was thinking about how fucked up it was that I was getting one shot. And one shot is fucking dumb. So I'm going to go run back and I'm going to try and see if I can change a couple of these implants that I don't need. And see if I can actually put on something... Because I don't need tech scrap right now, <clears throat> and I don't need uh, power consumption. So I'm going to take both of those off and try to, like, boost my health some. That seems like a good decision. And we have an extra open slot. <clears throat> the power surge destroyed a friend's computer yesterday. You talking to me? I, that, that shit pissed me off so much, man. Did, did that happen to somebody for you as well? I don't know what happened. I think there was, like, a transformer that blew up because like the power went off and then i heard this like massive fucking boom and i was like oh well that's not good and then like five minutes later the power came back on which was weird because i was like if a transformer goes out usually it's out for a while so i don't know what it is no, I have no idea. I, I looked in I looked on the news for a little while and I looked at like the local stuff and I never saw anything. There for like the past couple of years, there's been like construction off somewhere, and I don't know exactly what they're doing, but it seems like they're excavating something because it usually happens late at night through the like these like booms and rumblings, like shit that'll like fucking shake the house and it's just like, what the hell are they fucking doing? I don't know what's happening, but like weird shit's happening. <laughs> <laughs> like, there, somebody's doing some construction out there. And every once in a while, I hear some, like, pops and bangs off in the distance when I have, like, the window open and stuff. And I think I think somebody just did something stupid and, like, hit, like, some sort of power line or something like that and just temporarily knocked power out. I, I've got I've got no idea what the hell happened. Something happened. But when when the power came back on, like, my computer obviously shut down. And since it didn't shut down through normal routes, it... It corrupted part of the hard drive, so I had to spend, like, a few hours, like, fixing the hard drive, like, the boot drive itself. I really need to, I don't have the money right now, but I need to invest in getting one of those, like, mini batteries that, like, keep your computer on for, like, five, ten minutes, you know, half hour, whatever have you, so that I have time to, like, shut it down. I really should do that. That, that would be a wise investment. On, yeah, uh, yeah, a UPS, exactly. I just keep forgetting about it. Yeah, but I need I need to I need to get one of those power sources. Because I actually had to screw around and get the OS working again. And then once I got it working again, the BIOS came up and started flashing saying like, "Hey, there's something wrong with your CPU fan." And like I said, I don't know if it was something that the that the power going out did, and maybe there was like a bit more electricity that went to it and like did something. Maybe not. I mean, the computer's running. I mean, I'm playing the game. Like, I streamed yesterday. It's just there's something goofy going on with the, the CPU fan, which is something I can't sit here and just ignore. I definitely need to go in and fix that. It's just going to... I'm nervous about it. I want to do it when I have some, like, free time. So maybe sometime this weekend, maybe we'll just say, like, I'm going to take the week off and just figure shit out and try to get the computer going properly. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know exactly. I don't remember how to get back. I was so tired last night. Perfect. And just like, because I'm going to have to completely dismantle the CPU. Yeah, well, I'm keeping an eye on it because it'll crash. <laughs> it'll just, it'll just straight up crash otherwise. Oh, no. Is it all the way back upstairs? I thought I brought it down here. Oh, it's right there. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Good to see you. It'll just, it'll just blue screen. <laughs> it'll just blue screen otherwise. We're fine. It didn't crash last night, and I ran it for like seven hours. I think we're okay. There's still a fan. Like, I have made alterations to the computer to have constant air blowing on the CPU. So we're good. We're good. 
And there's still, I mean, it's not just a fan that's on it. It's one of those massive fucking coolers. So it has like two really big heat sinks connected to it. It's just not venting the air as well. Like the, the fan is still spinning. It's just not spinning well. I'm hoping it's just like me cleaning it. And that'll do something. But what has to happen is I have to completely dismantle my entire computer. It probably could do with so it's been like a few months since I've gone over and like cleaned it out. So I've got to I've got to go in and like do some maintenance in there anyways. I've installed some things and like maybe some of my like I can I can like do some better cable management in there as well. So it'll just give me an excuse to like dismantle things, but it's going to take a long time to do it. If worse comes to worse, I can use my laptop to stream. <laughs> but that doesn't have a capture card. I don't have like an external one, so it just have to be stuff from the laptop. My laptop is almost equal to what my PC is. It might even be a little bit more powerful because I bought my laptop after I bought my PC. So it might be able to handle things all right. Uh, what was I doing? It? Oh, uh, not this. <clears throat> I was coming here for this. So it's 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 within reason. Going to make some orange chicken? Hell yeah, man. I want orange chicken. <clears throat> all right. We'll abandon the tech scrap. And where's where's health? Here? Perfect. We can get another hundred health. Seven. Boo yeah. And I can take that off. And we could get another hundred health. Boo yeah. I've never made orange chicken. I wonder how difficult that actually is. Mmm. Alright, we've got like a couple extra spots here. Ah, uh, we could boost more stamina. I don't think I really need more stamina. I could do even more health. I could put on another healing node thing. I wonder if we have any more healing things like this. Yeah, we could throw another one of those on. Where's the other one? Alright, that's power. Holy crap, those all cost nine, though. I don't need that big of a health heal. I could throw that one on, but it's six. So I have nine we could do. I don't I want to use that one, so... Fuck it. Uh, let's see if three does it. I don't know what my max number is here, but let's grab. Let's, let's do that. Perfect. That was perfect. I've never had one. I've never homemade orange chicken. So that gives me 12 healing items. So even more healing, even more health. <clears throat> let's go do it. Because I didn't need any of that other stuff that I had on. I don't need to worry about poison. I don't need to worry about seeing the enemy's health. It's a fucking boss. So now I'm a bit more optimized for the fight. I think I was making it a little bit harder on myself by not doing that. Now, now we're ready for it. Let's go, let's throw down the showdown in Tokyo Town. <clears throat> I'm assuming I'm probably not going to get one shot here, but it's still possible that I can get one shot here. But I'm thinking, I mean, 400 health, what do we have? What I didn't, I didn't, 400, 400 health is pretty good. I've got a bunch of healing. We've got 12 healing and six of the regen. <clears throat> but the only downside is that this healing now, <clears throat> it only does 180 worth of healing. So it's, it's not a huge amount. It's also not a small amount, but it's not a huge amount. <clears throat> but I'm ready for this now. I am more ready than I was before.
Sure. Whatever you say, boss. Caught! That roundhouse. I forgot that! Oh man, yeah, I gotta I gotta dodge. The other direction, I think. I can't dodge to the left on that one. I'm so used to dodging left. I think on that big attack when that arm comes out, I have to dodge to the right. But I think I'm more prepared than I was before for this fight. We've got a lot more health. A lot more healing. I should go a thousand times better. I can actually survive a couple of hits. Rather than getting nuked off the top. Oh, it's still a hit. I love how he just has, like, this automatic turnaround. Oh, he hadn't done that in a while. 311! Holy crap! Even with... Oh, man. <clears throat> I should have just used a regular heal there. I completely forgot about the the big sploosh. The big sploosh. Alright, once I reacquaint myself with like a handful of the attacks, we'll be okay. <clears throat> Oh god. How did I? Where's the lock on? Look 
do I attack? I have no clue what I'm supposed to attack. Uh oh. Run! So it's like a two-phase fight. <clears throat> so I shouldn't be taking any damage in phase one. <clears throat> I got it. I knew there was something goofy going on there. Like I couldn't just like straight up. Fuck away from where you are, man.
Tower Candy Murderer. Yeah? 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 Did we wallop him? <clears throat> Ooh, baby! Let's go! Let's go! What's up, Sam? How you doing, dude? Happy Thursday. Happy, happy Thursday. How you doing, man? I chopped off that nerd's arm. For over four days now. Launches are continuing, but we've been unable to reach anyone inside the complex. I need you to take a team there, use drones and bots to do the exploratory work, but I want boots on the ground. I want a hardware link established so we can view the feed as it happens and get somebody up to low orbit. Our satellites there are picking up an unidentified particulate dispersal from the latest launch. It's inert so far, but it's completely different from their previous payloads. I want to know what it is. Mr. Secretary, we're in position. Hardline established. Who's playing we're tonight? drone reconnaissance units as per procedure, but we lost contact with them shortly after insertion. Strike team is moving in now. What the? Captain? Captain! I want another team in there right now. Mm. And that's an ending. <laughs> Rocket still takes off. The Seahawks and cards. I don't suppose either team is doing all that great this year, are they? The Seahawks are probably doing halfway decent. I have not been paying attention at all. I can't imagine the Cardinals are making any big moves. They haven't been decent in a while. Both are doing pretty well. Nice! Nice. Who do the cards have? Hey, there's our wheelchair. Just sitting right there. What, our, our suit broke? They've got a lot of youth on their team. They've been reconstructing for a couple of years now, or a few years now. Is Fitzy still playing, or did Fitz, uh, Fitzgerald retire? I was about to say Fitzpatrick, not Ryan Fitzpatrick. For the good of mankind, whatever the hell that means. Oh, they got DeAndre Hopkins? Nice. Who's their QB? Was he like a draft pick? Fitz is on year 17. That dude. I... Uh, Kyler Murray, <laughs> whatever that guy is. <laughs> sure, sure. This was a fun game. I have some small complaints, but overall, yeah, got nothing for it. Got nothing for it. I've got some small complaints, but overall I had some fun time. The last area was kind of a pain in the ass, throwing all those like 
not just the the like humanoid crystal monsters but like the weird crystal beasts like the round dudes with like shooting lasers and stuff and then like throwing like three and four of them at you at one time ah i mean either there was some mccain game mechanic that i completely didn't understand or or just the simple fact that like it's just bullshit it's just bullshit the music was nice the game controlled nicely it's it, it would the game controlled a lot like a dark souls you queue up attacks you know if i hit the swing button three times i'm gonna swing three times before i can do anything else which is fine with me that that i'm used to playing as so that 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 did not surprise me i didn't like how sometimes your finishing moves like you're holding down the a button and then it just disappears for some reason and you still have enough energy i don't understand that that was extremely frustrating because there were instances where I got killed where I should have had like a finishing move go off. That's kind of infuriating. Where it's just like, oh hey, the meter went all the way up and then right before it finished, it just went away for some reason. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you know? That was that was frustrating. Especially like even if it was a distance. It wasn't like I'm standing right in front of the enemy. I have the time to do it. And uh, that, that was infuriating. The last area was really confusing really confusing but that's okay the confusingness of the area isn't like a big negative but i think i think that <laughs> we're going to mute that just because uh, I I enjoyed I enjoyed the game overall. I want to see what New Game Plus is going to bring to the game. To be perfectly honest, I would love to pick up the D DLC, but here's the I'm not I'm not just going to buy it right now. I'm going to wait for there to be like a sale. It's not on sale. I went and checked, and it's it's like twenty bucks for the two DLCs. While not expensive, I'm not exactly in the market to just be like throwing money at things. So I'm not, I'm not going to pick it up right now. I would love to like go in and just be like, great, let's go for the two DLCs. Cause I would love to play more of this game, but I, I can't, I can't do it right now. Uh, I liked, I liked how you can like how it took like a different approach to building a character. You know, you, you didn't level up in a traditional way where, you know, you're, you're, you're leveling up, you know, like individual stats. You're just giving your suit more power and the stats that you choose come from the implants, which is a clever way to do things. It really limits though, early on what you can do, which is a little, a little rough, but everything in the early game is relatively easy. I mean, as long as you're not like over stepping your reach you know it, the, the game isn't too bad like just being patient in these games is always key and that's not something i possess well is patience like i'm just like all right we got to get going should i die i want to get back over there and then just blitz and bull through chai in the shop my way through things and you just can't do it and the reason why i was even more so than other games like in like dark souls i can take my time i can be meticulous in getting back in this game it was like hustle your ass back to where you are or you're gonna lose all that scrap i don't like that cool cool idea uh you also you gain time when you fight enemies so it, you don't have to hustle back but some enemies take a while to fight and if you have to bait enemies out because fighting more than one enemy in this game is extremely difficult because of how hard enemies hit that if you're fighting more than one enemy at a time you're just going to get demolished you know so you kind of have to like bait enemies out at one at a time and it, that just it's a time consuming process and even though you're getting time back by killing them you're still wasting a lot of time through the fight itself depending like you know the fight could take anywhere between five to like 30 seconds and that 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 takes time and if you got to go through you know 20 enemies to get back where you were it's going to be rough and if you just bull through china shop your way there you're going to just get inundated by enemies and not have like a safe place to run to after you pick up your you know lost scrap i think that could have been balanced a little bit better i'm not saying you can't have a timer 
but two and a half minutes just felt like, oh my God, your ass is on fire right now. Unless you died right outside the ops station, the operations station, you're, 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 you're spritting your ass all the way back. And that, that, you know, uh, uh. <clears throat> but overall, overall, I had, I had fun with the game. I had, I had lots of fun with the game. I would like to see what the DLC is. I'm always a fan of some cool and fun DLC. I, I, I liked it. I, the, the combat felt satisfying. I enjoyed the targeting system of how you could, you know, say I'm attacking the arm and then you get to, by, by cutting off limbs, you get, you know, parts that you can use to upgrade your armor and stuff i like i like how you get the schematics that you have to cut it off an enemy's arm or a limb i like that i think it's really cool i i can i can stand behind that and go yeah i'm okay with this i don't i don't mind that at all i thought it was very cool targeting limbs i like the idea behind that very very cool i like the brutality of combat there were some enemies I liked more than others. You know, the robots at first kind of pissed me off. I'm still not the biggest fan of them because, you know, you knock them down and then they get back up and then flail at you and they get, like, another full life bar. I would have liked it better if they could get back up, but, like, one swat and then just, like, kaboom, they're gone. You know, I don't like the idea of them getting back up and then attacking with another full life bar, even though the fact that you can, they still, like, they, they blitz out, you know, they go wild for a second and then they die. I got used to that after a while. That took some time getting used to. The only enemies that I truly disliked were both of the crystal enemies. There were some, like, goofy... At times, I looked at it as unfair mechanics that, that, that just... Ganking doesn't make a game difficult. Dark Souls 2 taught us that. Throwing a fuck ton of enemies at, a, at the player at one time does not make for fun combat. The combat itself was extremely satisfying. And fighting two enemies at one time... That's manageable, but you have to understand that you can't just throw two of every enemy at someone and go, okay, this is going to work out well. Two of any of the crystal enemies is just going to be an immense, and it's like Ornstein and Smau, you know, we're fighting like, we're not fighting enemies now, we're fighting like a boss style fight at this point. And the enemies have so much damn health that it's, it's hard to just like quickly say, okay, I can whittle this down and we can handle this situation without much of a problem. It becomes just like a fight for survival at that point, and you're going to go through your reserve health reserves lickety split. So there, there, there are some innate issues with the way combat handled. If combat was a bit quicker, maybe I wouldn't mind taking on multiple enemies, and maybe if they didn't take off so much damage. It could also be on me for not, like, building my character better and having more health. I mean, that's that's on me for not, like, building my character in a way that maybe suited my, my needs. I was leaning more towards glass cannon, but without the cannon part. <laughs> like, I was doing damage, just not a fuck ton of damage. You know, but like if I equipped like a heavy slow weapon, I felt like that was going to be a detriment to me because I mean, enemies recover so quickly. Like you've got to get in, get a couple hits and then get out. If I'm using a big slow weapon to get a hit in, I'm more than likely going to get slapped again. So the big heavy weapons seem more suited for a, you know, tank built person and the, the single handed faster weapon seemed more built for, you know, the, the faster style of gameplay that I was playing as. But I like the idea that you have those options to do that kind of thing. I like that. It's just getting getting inundated by like 30 enemies is just, it's not a fun way to like feel or play a game. You know, it just, it hurts. It hurts. You know, throwing like three extremely fast, quick, tough, hard hitting enemies at you at one time and then going, I can't juggle this. <laughs> I can't, I can't juggle this. And maybe I'm just a bad player. You know, maybe overall I'm just a bad player. That that always is a possibility. I don't remember that from Horizon Zero Dawn. To be fair, I don't remember a lot from Horizon Zero Dawn. It's been like three years since I played that game. I loved it. I did everything in the main game. I did the DLC. I loved it. I platinum the main game. I didn't platinum the, uh, the DLC because it required you to replay the entirety of the game again on like a like ultra ultra hard mode and then do like a bunch of things within that and i was like all right i don't i don't have another hundred hours to dedicate this but i liked horizon zero dawn a lot but enough to just play through it once
on a hard setting. Not again on its super duper hard setting. But yeah, this game was great. I, I really enjoyed it. It was it was a lot of fun. Super duper fun. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I took the time to do it. I'm glad it was on my list of stuff to play. I look forward to playing the DLC. And maybe we'll do... I hope we don't have to wait too long. Maybe around, like, uh, Thanksgiving time, they'll do a, you know, like a... I don't know if Steam will do, like, a Thanksgiving kind of sale or something like that, but maybe someone will and I can pick up the, the DLC for cheap. I gotta imagine the two DLC go on sale for, like, five bucks a piece. Ten bucks, I'm fine with. The the twenty bucks, I just don't have that right now. For, for this kind of frivolous thing. I've got too many games that I've already bought that I need to play. So buying more stuff without it being like super cheap is, is not really like on on the docket. Um, all right. I, I mean, I kind of want to go in and see DLC. I uh, see the rest of the campaign or more campaign. 